April ended up with one of the biggest four ball competitions in the country, and that was the Champions Cup in Texas. And AmateurGolf.com finished our 18th annual Two Man Links Championship right here at Bandon Dunes, where the US four ball will be coming in May. So we'll talk all about four ball competition and give you a look at the 2019 Apex Pro Irons from Callaway in this week's edition of The Notebook. <music> I want to welcome everybody to the 18th annual Two Man Links Championship. When you do this for work, work doesn't seem like work, if that makes any sense. 18th annual, we're here this week. So I'm with Dr. Alan Hocknell, VP of Engineering. You have a staff of 100 working for you at Callaway Golf, all to make products to, to make us better players. That's right. That's our goal. You know, um, we try to put the golfer at the center of our design process. And those aren't just words. That's what we really live. You know, we're at our performance center here today. We get a lot of feedback from real players hitting our products, uh, make decisions with grass under our feet, so to speak. And we try to feed that into uh, a mixture of our science that we've got going on, our um, engineering capability for building more, usually more complicated structures of golf clubs than we've had before. Uh, so it takes all pieces uh, but it's all with a focus on the problems that real golfers are having right and now better players have tended to pick irons that are a little smaller compact forged typically is something you hear right. and you've had two models of apex that are now having a whole refresh for 2019 and we could talk about both but i kind of i'm most interested in the apex pro for our audience sure. because you've added all the cup face and the and the and everything else that goes along with being a, a, a welded on face right, right. laser right. welded yep. <laughs> how am i doing so far good. Yeah. you've added all that to an iron that is still really good looking and feels like a one piece forged iron that's right it's really apex pro is a is a first of its kind uh, hopefully it's sort of breaking the mold in better player iron performance so it's a genuine forged body it's a tour player type shape so a relatively compact shape and size relatively limited offset, narrower sole, narrower top line. And that form of head has usually been quite difficult for us to incorporate our best uh, performance enhancing iron technologies, uh, things like our face cup. It's been very difficult to put that into that form of head, especially with a forged material, which is maybe not as strong as stainless steel. But for the first time, we've been able to do that. So uh, we have the 
benefit of the ball speed coming from our face cup, which is more flexible than a regular uh, uh, iron face. And with it, we've, we get access to building the head in two pieces. Uh, so we get access to the inside and we can put weight controlling elements inside the head that steer the center of gravity lower in the longer irons, which gives an easier to launch characteristic, and then quite a bit higher in the shorter irons, which adds spin to the shots and give you more control in the scoring part of the game. Um, so we, we've put all of that inside the Apex Pro for the first time. And definitely when you've got a more flexible face, you have to defend as the designer against the iron not feeling like a genuine forged iron. So we're additionally able to inject our urethane microsphere material inside the head. It goes in in a liquid form into the bottom part of the cavity sets up as a solid, a very flexible solid that takes away the harsher vibrations that might be uh, consistent with sort of poorer feel. So we've got an iron that feels great, feels like a forged iron, because it is a forged iron, but it has all these uh, performance enhancing technologies in there for the very first time. Yeah, and, and I can tell you, I, I hit five irons, I hit wedges, I hit seven irons, and it feels fantastic when you hit it in the center of the club, even a little bit off the toe, off the heel, but, but really a forged golfer wants to know what it feels like when they make the best contact. You've nailed it. All right, thanks very much. <laughs> Hey, this is Julie from AmateurGolf.com, and this week in The Notebook, we are talking about mid-amateur golf, more specifically the Champions Cup at Champions Golf Club in Houston, Texas, which is, of course, Jackie Burke's place, going to be the host of the U.S. Women's Open next summer. So this week, it was all about Bryant Lack and Matt Cordell, who won by eight shots in the 72-hole event. They led after every round. Just for kicks, Cordell closes on the 17th hole of the final day with a 35-footer for birdie. Both of these guys are new fathers. They said, you know, they wanted to play something and win something that had some meaning for them. And of course, what better trophy to put your name on than one that also has Jackie Burke's name, especially if you're an amateur, because Burke is kind of the amateur golf guy, the amateur golf proponent. So everything about the Champions Cup and more in this week's notebook, so make sure you check it out. <laughs>